Ever since the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi by writer and director Ryan Johnson, a lot of people around the world were very disappointed with how Luke was used in the movie. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, looking at Episode 9, we do know that both J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio will be doing something very special for the character of Luke Skywalker by Mark Hamill, portraying the character in the final installment of the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself. A lot of surprises, twists, and turns are all set and ready to come our way in order to shock fans around the world. So, looking at Episode 9 specifically, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the concept art and storyboard descriptions, the set designs, the set leaks, etc. One of which has all to do with a set that will be used for both Mark Hamill and Adam Driver. Specifically, Mark Hamill is set to shoot a sequence during the middle of December over at Cardington for what's being described as an action sequence that will also involve Adam Driver. The set being constructed for the two is having lots of grass, boulders and an ancient like structure that may or may not be Luke's training temple as seen in episode 8. Lots of wire work will be used on both Hamill and Driver, some fog machines will be used during the sequence as well. These could be flashback sequences between Luke and Kylo similar to what was done in The Last Jedi. Apart from this there are rumors that both Hamill and Driver will use lightsaber props for the scene. Now, let me stop right here because this is honestly hyping me up for episode 9. Now, I don't know if this is in the form of a flashback or if this is going to be something so outlandish and crazy where Luke will fight in the form of a Force Ghost, which I'm not quite sure how you guys would think about that. It may seem like a bit of reaching, but... You know, they did do that in one of the video games, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, and the fact that Yoda as a Force Ghost is able to interact with the living world by holding a certain object like his cane and bopping it on Luke's nose, that could have very well been a hint as to what's coming for Luke Skywalker in Episode 9, but who knows. Looking at everything here though, the set design that's being described, how it has a lot of grass, a lot of boulders, and an ancient structure in the background. Now, this to me sounds like it's a Jedi temple or a training temple that we saw in the flashback of The Last Jedi. Now, what do I think? I think that this matches directly up with what we heard about three months or so, all right, uh, about three months ago or so, about both Luke and Kylo Ren having a training session together, showing us the moments of Luke and Kylo Ren slash Ben Solo having their training together, kind of similar to what happened between both Yoda and Luke and Luke and Rey, stuff like that, where we would where we would actually see that angle of Star Wars where Ben Solo was actually training to become a Jedi. And that is something that we never actually saw in the Star Wars franchise or in the movies at all. So that would be a very interesting take for sure. As far as a lot of wire work being used, that tells us that some of our actors like Hamill and Adam Driver will be airborne at some point in time during this scene when it is shot. So maybe Luke is a force ghost and he's floating above Kylo Ren, I don't know. Uh, aside from that, this could very well be a flashback between the two in front of the Jedi training temple. Kind of a different training, right? That we have never seen before on screen, where it's saber to saber combat. That is a type of training that I think I personally and a lot of fans out there would really love to see. Kind of like what we saw in Batman Begins, where you had, of course... Uh, Ra's al Ghul going up against Bruce Wayne, the sword fight between the two, it was epic. So I could only imagine them kind of applying that concept to a Star Wars movie between both Luke and Ben. It would just make sense. So that's the only thing that I can think about of them using lightsaber props quite possibly for this scene against each other where wire work is used and the fact that this set being constructed has a lot of grass, boulders and an ancient structure in the background that they will actually be acting in front of sounds to me like this is going to be the training temple that we got a little glimpse at during the events of the last jedi right now a lot happened before the force awakens between both luke and ben they were training together for a very long time even leia herself if you guys read bloodline she was trying to reach out to both luke and ben but couldn't because i think it was i think it had all to do with radiation or something like that very interesting stuff there's a lot of mystery right between the events of return of the jedi and the force awakens there's a lot to be told for sure 
So Luke's action, we heard about this lightly, I would say, oh, about three days ago, that he would actually have some action to a certain extent in Episode 9. And this got a lot of people thinking, if it's not a flashback scene, how in the world is Luke Skywalker going to fight if he's dead? And that's where I came up with the idea, maybe he's going to fight in the form of a Force ghost. As ridiculous it may sound to a lot of you guys out there. But anyways guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.